Gospel Trick Shot was first conceived back in the summer of 1995 when Steve Lillis, with the urging of his mom Ellie, witnessed a gospel magic show at the campgrounds in Hershey, Pennsylvania, where his missionary parents were staying in their motorhome while working with a missionary organization called Sowers, Servants on Wheels, Ever Ready to Serve. At this point in time, Steve had not played pool for over 10 years and was now a school teacher pursuing graduate degrees in education. The idea of Gospel Trick Shot was fully birthed within the next six months and starting in January 1996, Gospel Trick Shot shows began springing up in campgrounds, churches, and youth organizations with Steve's parents booking many of the shows and his faithful mom capturing footage on video. Within two years, it spread to college campuses around New Jersey and then across the country. The workload and expense increased, and in 1998, the ministry became incorporated as a 501c3 nonprofit ministry with nine men on the board of directors. After almost five years since the first Gospel Trick Shot shows, and with the urging of longtime friends and female professional Hall of Fame pool players Robin Dodson and Lori John Jones Hassan, and with an invitation to compete in the first ever North American and World Artistic Pool Championships at the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas from the founder of the modern day artistic pool movement, Tom Dr. Q. Rossman, Steve Lillis once again entered the professional arena in year 2000. Upon his arrival back in Las Vegas, after being away from professional pool for 15 years, Steve literally ran into Hall of Fame and legendary pool player Mike Massey at the front door of the Riviera Hotel. Mike and Steve, back in the late 1970s and early 1980s, traveled the country together as road partners and friends. Mike was instrumental in reintroducing Steve to Jesus back in 1976 in a Baton Rouge, Louisiana pool room where Mike shared his amazing testimony after he did his world famous trick shot show. Now Mike took Steve around and introduced him to the billiard industry right there in the Riviera Hotel in year 2000. With Lori John, Rob and Tom, and Mike along with Steve's mom Ellie and six others a Bible study was started by Steve Lillis in the Riviera and has been held every year since in Las Vegas for the past 13 years. Starting in 2001, Gospel Trick Shot booths were born in various billiard venues across the country where Bibles, literature, cue for Christ, shirts, hats and towels along with other Christian books, tapes, CDs and DVDs were given out before and after various Gospel Trick Shot shows. In 2001 at the Riviera in Las Vegas, a two-hour Gospel Trick Shot show was launched in conjunction with the second annual World Artistic Pool Championships. At that show, seven Christian pool players participated with songs, testimonies, and of course, artistic pool and trick shots. Gospel Trick Shot Ministries Incorporated became a service sponsor of that 2001 event with Steve Lillis serving as the director. Tom, Dr. Q. Rossman, and Steve formed a close friendship and partnership with Steve agreeing to cease from competition and eventually accept the position as chairman of the World Pool and Billiard Association's Artistic Pool Division. This would eventually allow Steve to travel the world with the artistic pool movement to share the vision of Gospel Trick Shot and make contacts for future Gospel Trick Shot mission trips. Tom would go on to co-direct the artistic pool tour with Steve and eventually win many major competitive artistic pool and trick shot titles which would give him the platform to spread the artistic pool movement. Mike Massey would win the lion's share of the titles and become the main spokesperson for the movement. This combination of Tom, Mike, and Steve 
became the major force behind fueling the expansion of Gospel Trick Shop. The three of them did dozens of shows here both in the U.S. and overseas demonstrating the love of Christ in unity with each other as well as sharing the clear gospel of Jesus on the pool table. Tom's vision for ministry dated all the way back to 1984 with RAC, Recreational Ambassadors for Christ's Kingdom. And now in partnership with GTS, that 1984 RAC vision resurfaced to form the GTS RAC team. With Mike, Tom, and Steve modeling ambassadorship, others from the artistic pool and trick shot movement and the billiard industry at large began to be discipled into becoming fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ using pool and billiards as a ministry tool. Gospel Trick Shot Ministries Incorporated has been overseas 25 times and to 19 different countries. We have 25 pool playing ministers and volunteers with 15 of them already having overseas experience. We have been invited to 10 countries with many of them being return visits. We need $100,000 to send our GTS RAC team members overseas. They are ready to go. Will you send them? Pool is very popular in third world countries where we have already been, like Kenya, Tanzania, Philippines, and Albania, where capitalism is taking root. This is because store owners and prospective entrepreneurs purchase pool tables to have potential customers linger and spend their money much like it was in the U.S. cities 100 years ago. Muslim countries like Egypt, Iraq, Kuwait, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, which we have all been to, all love and revere the Western sport of pool and billiards and allow us to share. We have preached the gospel and shared our faith in all these countries because we are recognized as international athletes and sports celebrities. We have also been in very dangerous countries like Honduras, where drug cartels rule as and have seen people come to Christ. In Asia, and especially in China, pool and billiards is perhaps the fastest growing sport and is, and is on television daily. Gospel trick shot shows have been aired on TV around the world like Sat7 TV in the Middle East, which reaches over 200 million Muslim homes, and various sports and network programming with millions of viewers like in countries Albania, Russia, China, and the Philippines. We partner with churches and missionaries on the ground and international missionary organizations like Operation Mobilization, African Inland Mission, Athletes in Action, Campus Crusade, InterVarsity, and many others. We have a worldwide network that has been developed over the past 12 years. We need your help to send us around the world with the good news of Jesus Christ. Will you send us? No one like you, God. The greater things have yet to come and greater